it's funny that you say that because, you know, I talk to a lot of people and it's like generational knowledge gets passed down, you know. Basically, what I want to talk about, which I was super excited to talk to you today about, is your journey getting started in real estate. And like, so my first question is like, why did you want to invest in real estate? Um, you know, for, for a couple different reasons. Um, when I was younger, uh, my father passively, you know, tried to do a lot of different things. He, he still continues to, you know, he actually bought me to a house at one point that he was trying to get in this place. It's, I'm from New York, and it's in this place called Elmont, New York, in Long Island. <clears throat> and this house um, it was a drug addict that had previously lived in the house that left a dog behind. Um, the dog actually died in the house from starvation, I believe. Oh, dang. Um, but there was shit everywhere in the house. It, you know, it was a whole mess. And I, you know, <clears throat> I guess some people could take that as like a traumatic experience. You know. But why did why did you go to the house? Because he's trying to buy, he he bought it. He oh, he did buy it. it. Yeah, okay, it's a piece of shit house. Uh huh. And he bought it um, in New York. Or like, when was this? In Long Island. This is probably like in two thousand and. Three, two thousand four. Oh, so the market was popping. Yeah, the market was popping, and um, I remember going into the house and I was like, "Yo, why would anybody go into something like this?" And he's like, "It's a good opportunity." And this was like a dramatic, you know, introduction to this um, <laughs> because I'm like, "Wait, how old were you?" I was probably like thirteen. You know? Okay, so old enough to like get like what he's trying to do I guess yeah kind of but I'm still kind of confused I'm like I'm in a house full of shit and like, <laughs> needles on the floor like you know it's like, like who would lot. want this yeah I'm like who would want this um he's grabbing guys because at first I'm like I don't even I couldn't even walk into the spot because there's shit and like needles on the floor mm -hmm. and I'm like what is this like who would want this he's like nah it's good like I got it so cheap I'm like, this guy is crazy. You remember what he bought it for? I have no idea. Okay. I have no idea what he bought it for. I'm, I'm assuming it was very cheap. I bet you whatever whatever it was, it's probably worth pretty good money it's now. It's probably worth a lot now. New York. Yeah. yeah. And it, well, I mean, it's Long Island. It's not in the city, but yeah. still. Um, and I remember like, you know, seeing him go through that process. I remember seeing the guys come in and out because they we had to put on gas masks. I was mm. a kid and I had to get a gas mask <laughs> even to go into this crib. And I'm going in the crib like... Who could ever live in this situation? And after seeing it in the condition I saw it in, I was like, if anybody ever found out about this in their house, like, you know, they would be horrified. Like, you uh -huh. know, it was like finding a ghost or a dead body in the house. Like, who would want to live in this? Um, but eventually, you know, the project came to fruition and things worked out. Um, I don't exactly remember, like, the nuances of how he sold it or what he did with it. But I just remember that as an experience of, like, this guy bought a crib that was in terrible condition. You know, almost as bad as it can get. I think the infrastructure probably wasn't even that bad. Like, looking mm -hmm. back, it probably wasn't in as bad a condition as, like... Yeah, but you, you never seen nothing like yeah, that. Yeah, i never like, seen nothing heck? like that ever, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, some people do this, and I'm like... You know, I always kept it in the back of my mind. Um, then I, I went to... Uh, I just I just started learning about real estate slowly um, throughout the years, and everybody talks of it talks about it like a wealth vehicle. Yeah, it's funny because rent it out, you don't really have to do anything after that. You get cash flow, maybe you sell it or you buy another house, you rent it out and it's real easy or whatever. And, and like that idea always stuck in my head, mm. like from being like 13, I was like, you could just get paid to own properties. You don't have to like work to, to make money. That, that concept was crazy. So like, it's funny that you say that because... You know, I talk to a lot of people and it's like generational knowledge gets passed down. You know, it's even huge. like the small huge. little interactions is crazy like that. Because my dad was buying properties in North Philly and Nice Town. Yep. And he was buying them for like five, ten thousand dollars $10,000, fixing it up, running it out. Now, it's funny because I don't like that strategy. I don't like messing with the super, super, super cheap stuff because... I'm not good issues. at dealing with the tenants. There's yeah. it. There's crazy issues. Like, like you know, the cops are coming. Like, all kinds of crazy stuff can happen. But when you look at, like, the numbers, they always look super good. It's like, oh, I only need, you know, I'm getting, like, 50% ROI on this property if I get it up and running. Yeah. The, the intergenerational knowledge is huge, though. You know, I think, um, I think that's a big difference between um, folks who kind of get this real estate thing and don't. It's like... Uh, somebody's 
put this bug in your head and it's a, and allowed it to like just crawl around and just do its own thing and just feed you all this wealth of information for you to just get the gears going because people who don't have that, like, you know, they'll look at me like I'm crazy. Like, what's like, what are you doing? Like, you know, you get all these weird properties in these weird neighborhoods, like who knows what this is. And coming from New York, like the neighborhoods that used to be in the worst shape um, had the best ROIs, yeah. right? Like yeah. you know, these guys. Are oh, like, New York. I mean, it's it's crazy. gentrification. It's crazy. Is... And being born into that, I'm like, I've seen neighborhoods go from, you know, abandoned, a whole neighborhood abandoned 